Good morning, YouTube. It's Francis here, Nibiru Tracker 2012. I want to wish you all a good morning. I was up late and I was up early because I was excited to have the follow up image of Elenin from last night, which captured the movement of the comet from one location to the next across the sky located underneath the belly of Leo. I was happy last night for finding it. I thought here we go. This is this is doing what you said you were gonna do, what you knew you could do because you knew that it was a comet and not Nibiru and this morning I wake up and anything is still possible in fact forget that I found Elenin and watched it move across the sky over three nights I'm being directed to look at the sun from the South Pole. Anyways, let's show you the pictures. This picture was taken Monday night. I used the Gross telescope. Gross dash 014 exposed for 80 seconds zoomed in the picture and located Elenin right where it should be right here this is the same space on the picture taken last night June 22nd. All these images were taken from New Mexico. As you can see now, the area where Elenin was is empty. There's Elenin. There she ain't. There's Elenin. There she ain't. There's Elenin. I wanted to point out that there are some very small stars right here. And if you look, and there's a star here, there's a star here. There's a little fuzzy here. This one kind of this one kind of worried me when I saw this image cuz I said, "Oh, I hope that doesn't come along with it." Hope we got nothing coming along with it. As you'll see it's still there. So that's out of the question. Again, this picture is from last night. This picture is from Monday. There's Ellen. Go on to the next series. Okay. What we have here is the two pictures. This is the new location of Ellen. New location of Ellen is right here. This picture was taken last night. This picture was taken on the 20th. Nothing there, nothing to be seen. The stars line up. That's why you'll just see me flipping back and forth in between images. Here, not here. Here, not here. Okay, well, I guess what's important to point out is the star right here. Star right here, watch. Kind of fades out when Elenin shows up. Which kind of shows, gives you some distance. Also, maybe these stars over here, do they fade out? So that's what we're going to keep it on. If we're going to try to start getting size of Elenin, we're going to need to see what it's distorting, what it's taking up. Okay, let's move on. What do I have next? Okay, this is the image taken Monday night. 
Ellen is up here, and you're going to see the the movement. Here's the picture from last night. Here's Ellen and down here. Oh, I can't see it. I see that I can't see it. See if I can tip up the screen some if that makes a difference. see what we can do with this. I'm going to take a hand. I'm going to go back. Here's Ellen up here. Ellen's right here. You know, as I do the videos, I immediately feel inadequate that I'm not doing my job um, getting these pictures out and explaining them properly. This is the new location of Ellen on 622. Um, when I woke up this morning, I was a little deflated because rather than being happy that this object has been found and can continue being found using the methods that I use they're instantly looking at the sun and calling this a distraction well I think their story is the distraction I think that we have a lot of objects coming in. Somebody needs to track each and every one of them. When you find one, it's not find one and go move on and look someplace else. It's about finding one, tracking one, adding it to the list, and knocking down the pins until all the little cracks are filled. Choices are uh, eliminated. And the only thing... Uh, we have left to know is not about what's out in space what's not out in space but what people are willing to tell you and what they're willing to use as proof that their prophecies are correct I, I guess what I'm saying is that um, a lot of this, go look this way, go look that way, send me the pictures, tell me what you think, is all poppy wash, poppycock, hogwash, poppycock, hogwash. That's distracting. I think, uh, I think this is more real than... Some of the questions I'm being asked, pointless, rhetorical, repetitive questions. I found Ellen. I know how to get her tomorrow. I know how to get her the next day. I took a picture of the space around Comet Levy last night, and we're going to begin finding Comet Levy. And then Honda. And then YU-55, the asteroid. And then Pan Stars. And we're going to knock them all down. And we're going to watch them all go by. And if I really want to be serious with you, my worry about these objects as I find them is that they might break up on the way by. That's why I'm looking at all these objects. Now y'all have a good day.